What's going on guys, this is Goofy Goop the Balls, and today I wanted to give you guys a video on how to sound tour or hear footsteps in Infinite Warfare. And a quick note at the beginning of this video is you're not only trying to hear footsteps, you can hear tons of other enemy movements as well, like sliding, boosting, jumping, reloading even. So there's tons of other things, you're not only listening for footsteps. So that's just a good thing to know. So first things first, we're going to jump straight into the audio settings. So enemy movements are counted in the sound effects category, so the other two categories, music and voice, you can turn down or completely off depending on your personal preference. I personally like to keep music very low but not completely off, just so that I can hear it in pre-game lobbies and stuff. And for voice, I also like to keep it very low but not completely off. The only problem with this is that you won't be able to hear the announcer announce enemy score streaks coming in, which can be kind of annoying sometimes. But I also tried, if you turn it completely off and turn on subtitles to try to counteract it, it unfortunately doesn't work. The subtitles don't display what the announcer would be saying about the enemy score streaks, so that's why I keep it very low but not completely off. And one other thing to note about the voice setting is that it doesn't affect the callouts that AIs make to each other that you can hear that sometimes help you get kills. So if you turn this up or down or completely off, it won't affect that, so that's just something useful to know. So moving on to the next main setting is the mix preset that you use, and there's three mix presets. There's default, there's headphones, and there's small speakers. So I'm going to have you guys listen to some footsteps with each of these different presets on, and see if you can hear any difference for yourself, and decide which one you want to use. So I personally can't hear any difference between these three settings. I've listened to it a lot of different times and put the volume up really high, so I can't tell any difference. So I just keep it on headphones myself because I use headphones and I figure that's probably the best way to keep it. Now the next thing aside from settings is the perks, and the main perk you have to use is Dead Silence. Dead Silence is huge in this game because it not only silences your footsteps but all of your other movements as well, which is huge in two ways. One is that enemies won't be able to hear you, and two is that you won't be able to hear yourself. The main reason it's hard to hear enemy movements or footsteps or anything in this game is because there's tons of ambient noise between score streaks, gunfire, both friendly and enemy, your own footsteps, your own teammates' footsteps. So silencing your own footsteps and movements will make it much easier to hear enemy movements. So now there's just a couple other miscellaneous tips I have for sound horn. One is that there's currently a glitch with Tracker and Dead Silence. Tracker is the perk in Infinite Warfare that allows you to see enemy footsteps, and a lot of people like to use this with Dead Silence, I myself like to do it too, but there's currently a glitch where if you run both Tracker and Dead Silence, you'll be able to hear your own footsteps and movements. Enemies won't be able to hear it, but only you will. So this isn't really a huge deal for enemies hearing you, it's only a big deal for you trying to hear enemies, since it kind of makes it a lot harder to hear. So that's just something that you guys should know. Another tip is that crouch walking is back in Infinite Warfare, and what this is is if you crouch and walk around you won't make any footstep noises, and this can be huge if you don't have dead silence on for some reason or you just haven't unlocked it. This is a key tip to know for moving around silently in tight situations where you might need it. And another quick tip is obviously mute any teammates in game chat or anything like that because they'll make random noises sometimes and that'll get in the way of footsteps. And my final tip has to do with teammate footsteps. So unfortunately you can hear teammate footsteps just as well as enemy footsteps and movements in Infinite Warfare. So this can kind of create some confusion and difficulty. So sometimes you might hear footsteps and think they're enemies but they'll actually be teammates. Or sometimes you might hear enemy footsteps and think they're teammates and just write them off and you'll end up getting killed. But the way to counteract this is by using the minimap. So I'm going to show you two clips to explain that here, so listen into the first one. So as you could hear, I heard some footsteps almost directly in front of me, but by looking at the minimap in that general direction that I heard the footsteps, we can see that there was a teammate right there. So chances are that those footsteps belong to the teammate, and I probably didn't have to worry about them. Now listen into the second clip here. So in this clip, I also hear some footsteps pretty much in front of me, kind of to my left, and by looking at the minimap, I can see that there are no teammates in that general direction, so I can be 100% sure that these footsteps or movements belong to the enemy. So because I know it's an enemy, I'm able to react quickly and get the kill. 
So that's all for this video guys, just wanted to give you guys a video on how to sound horror or hear enemy movements in Infinite Warfare. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new, you can use this when you play Infinite Warfare. If you guys are new around here, please subscribe to my channel to help support it and be notified whenever I post a new Infinite Warfare or Modern Warfare Remastered Tips and Tricks video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.